Beard Baron here today with a new video on Beards on the Job. All about being employed with the beard, starting a beard, what you can expect, pitfalls, things you might want to try and avoid, advantages, disadvantages of trying to grow a beard in your workplace. Now the good news is, is that beards have kind of bucked that trend of beards are just a trend. So over the past few years, society, mainly employers, have looked at beards in a more positive light, meaning they're not as strict as they used to be. Now that's not to say that all industries are very welcoming of beards, for good reason too. Any kind of industry that deals with, you know, medical, cleanliness, sterilization, might not like beards and mustaches. Restaurant business is a little tricky too, especially with open flames, any kind of food preparation. Of course, you can wear those, you know, those masks that they got. It's never really that great of a look, but if you want your beard in that kind of, op in that kind of situation, you gotta go with that. And if you work in a place where you have any kind of heavy machinery or any kind of tools that are gonna have some sort of impact on catching a beard in a tool, your workplace might have restrictions. If your workplace doesn't have restrictions, you might test out what the restrictions actually are by growing out your beard. Now that's not to say that all beards have a, you know, a dress code associated with them. Uh, some places of employment not, might not have that attached to the dress code, but they might say something once it gets to a certain length. Now, whether or not you want to fight that or bring that up with, you know, the management of saying, hey, you didn't say anything about beards. Well, that's going to be your choice of how much you want to push that envelope. Now, if you're just starting out a beard, there's one thing I could really recommend, and this goes all the way back to a few years ago when I made my first video, How to Grow a Beard Successfully. Within that first week, you want to clean up your beard by creating beard lines, specifically the cheek line, which are right here on each side, your side lines, which run vertical along your neck up and down, and then your neckline, which runs horizontal across the bottom of your neck. This is gonna give you a tidy, a real tidy look, which is what you want. You don't want people thinking you just rolled out of bed. You, you'll get those crazy things. I hate people saying, it's like, oh, what'd you, you forget your razor, you lost your razor, what, you, you, you woke up from a coma. I mean, I haven't heard that one yet. <laughs> but you get the idea. You don't want people thinking at work that, oh, you don't care about your appearance, that you're, you come across looking lazy, which is another big one people love throwing out there. These are the looks you want to avoid because an employer or supervisors do not want you representing their company or establishment or place of business like that. That's gonna be a red flag immediately. So I say within the first couple days to the first week or two, depending on how quickly you grow from a clean shaven face, you wanna create the lines. Cheek lines, neck lines, neck lines. That'd be a great start. Now from there, you can start to grow it out. Let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. And like I said earlier, you're really gonna test the boundaries of what your place of employment accepts as far as beards go. Now, when it gets to a point where the hair starts to fly away, starts leaving your face a little bit, you can start to use beard care products such as beard balm and beard butter. That's gonna keep things in line and tidy. I'm gonna say that word over and over again, tidy, tidy, tidy. That's what you want if you don't wanna get too much attention at your job. You don't wanna give people a reason to say, hey Bill, beard's gotta go, my friend, and you know, it's just a day where like the beard was a little wild, you know? You don't want to lose that kind of growth just based on a, an off day. So you're going to have to be kind of on top of your game. Hopefully you work in a place where people are accepting of beards and you can express yourself through that. Uh, that would be ideal situation. So like I said, keep it tidy, keep it neat, sneak up on it. And if someone has an issue with it, you're going to have to make your own decision of how much you want to push that envelope, how much you want to fight against that and push back against that. It's totally up to you. I can't say either way. Uh, but the good news is, like I said, things have been softening towards beards in the public light. Stay away from that lazy, unkempt look, and you should be just fine. Please leave your comments down below, guys, for your fellow beardsmen. Good, bad, heroic, horrific, or just plain wonderful stories you have about your beard in the workplace. You know where to find me, thebeardbearing.com, for all your premium beard care products and all your needs you got going on. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You know where to find me on social media. I love hearing from you guys. Talk to you soon. i got to go catch the sunset real quick. Until then. Mm -hmm.